which ways do people live their lives with joy, creativity, and beauty? Sometimes amid suffering and violence, and sometimes perpendicular to it. How do people fashion routines and make sense of the world in the face of temporariness or volatility that defines so many of the arrangements of social existence? When will the new emerge? And if it's already here, how do we decipher it? The goal of the Global Georgia Initiative is to present global problems in local contexts by addressing pressing contemporary questions with a focus on how the arts and the humanities can intervene. I am exceedingly thrilled that the Wilson Center has chosen an African youth who has received international acknowledgement for his unconventional but progressive portrayal of Africa. What I want to share with you today is the story of a small, deeply subjective attempt to do things differently with the publishing of a once-off, one-day-only edition of a fictional Pan-African newspaper. Titled The Chimurenga Chronic, the project was published in 2011 in collaboration with Nigeria's Cassava Republic Press and Kenya's Kwani Trust and distributed across several African cities. An intervention in both time and space, the chronic embraced the newspaper as the medium best capable of inhabiting, reproducing, and interpreting political, social, and cultural life in places where uncertainty and turbulence, unpredictability, multi-directional shifts are the forms taken in many instances by daily experience. Newspaper no longer seem able to respond to the particular challenges that our society faces today, or to imagine a future that might be different from the present. So, what if newspapers were written by aliens? Despite the conditions of precariousness and uncertainty that continue to surround us, we need to draw on the way that African societies compose and invent themselves and invent in the present and embrace our capacity to continually produce something new and singular. We have to write the everyday, everyday.